Good morning guys, I am here at the gym. I was hoping to have Matt weigh in on this, uh, on our last week. I was hoping to have him be here to update with you guys, um, but he's been real busy with the new changes at work. He's having to stay later. He had to stay late yesterday and then we ran over to my parents to um, help give out candy for Halloween. And then we got back real late and then this morning it was like a mad dash to get out the door because he's having to get there a bit earlier. So. I'm here and I was gonna let you guys know um, what all this last week entailed. I'm not gonna edit this video, it's just kind of keeping you guys up to date. So if you guys have been a part of this journey and a part of this channel for the last several months, y'all know that it's been it's been a, a rough kind of a rough few months for us. I, I don't want to say a rough year because this year has also been amazing at the same time. But Matt broke his leg in May. Around that same time, Buzz had, we found out that Buzz had heartworms. Now, how you get infected with heartworms is, um, as far as I know, dogs get bit by an infected mosquito. At that time, um, we, we live out where a bunch of mosquitoes are, so they're going to get bit by mosquitoes. Um, we had let their heartworm meds lapse for about a month or a month and a half. And it must have happened within that time frame. So we found out he had heartworms and he had to undergo treatment where they get a bunch of um, injections to break up the heartworms. And as he passes them through his circulatory system, he has to be calm. They call it quiet. Um, so we had to keep him calm for three months solid. He No running, no playing, no barking, like just completely solid. That's why he wasn't in a lot of videos. We had to keep him separate from Brady. Well, anyway, about three weeks ago, um, he's all clear now as far as heartworms go. Three weeks ago, he got sprayed by a skunk in the face. Uh, he took out, he took off running out the door, which sometimes they do. Dogs like to run. Um, and I guess he saw a little black and white kitty cat, which happened to be a skunk. So he got sprayed by a skunk in the face. So he was stinky for, I mean, he still has a bit of a stink. It's really hard to get that smell out. So, last week, um, it all started on Monday. Uh, Matt's parents had actually just left to go out of town to Arkansas. So we were feeding uh, their cats and watering their plants and feeding the birds and feeding the deer. Um, and Monday, so I guess it was Monday during the day, um, Buzz was fine and at the same time, um, I hadn't seen Burgundy all day. Uh, it was Monday morning. She came into the trailer, she ate her food like normal, she cuddled for a bit, and then she ran next door to eat more. And then I didn't see her after that point. Um, you guys probably know that I had a fitness photo shoot scheduled for Tuesday morning. Well, at about midnight on um, Tuesday morning, I guess, slash Monday night, whatever you want to call it, Overnight, Monday between Monday and Tuesday, um, I I was laying in bed and I heard a sound like somebody was pouring out a, a bucket of water onto the ground. I was like, "What is that?" And then I hear Buzz throw up. So I was like, "Great, he's getting sick." So um, I got up and um, I cleaned it up, which there was so much. I cleaned it up. Um, that took a good 10 minutes and I sat with Buzz for a little bit and you could tell he wasn't feeling good and so he drank a little bit of water, he threw up all of his food so I gave him a little bit of food and then went back to sleep. About 30 minutes later, hear it again. So he's throwing up what he's eating and what he's drinking. So I got up, cleaned it up again. Um, by this time we were pretty much out of towels because I used a bunch of towels, a bunch of paper towels, a bunch of cleaning products. Um, he had thrown up all over his bed. He had thrown up all over the carpets that we have, the little rugs that we have in the RV. I mean, it was just everywhere. So I didn't feed him again because I, obviously he was throwing it back up. So I pet him for a little bit, laid back down. He threw up, I think, one or two more times that night. So I was up basically all night um, cleaning up throw up. And so the next day, Matt and I were, we had decided that you know, we'll see how he does today, um, see how it goes. So I went and I did my photo shoot and of course I was focused on Buzz and we still hadn't seen Burgundy. Um, 
we didn't feed him much that morning. Um, and then I came back home midday, spent the rest of the day with him. And he, he was, he was interested in food, but he wasn't eating a lot. And we looked up online and they said that, you know, that's, if dogs get upset stomachs, you know, don't necessarily feed them a whole lot. If they're going to be throwing it up, just kind of keep an eye on them. There were a couple signs to look out for that we hadn't seen. Um, uh, like if it's painful to the touch to their stomach, if they get really lethargic, that's when they said to take them into the vet. We didn't see that yet. Um, so during the day, he seemed interested in food, but he just wasn't, he wasn't keeping it down. Uh, he, I let him outside and he was eating grass. He was kind of running around. He wasn't, you know, too far out of the norm as far as Buzz goes. And then overnight, that next night, kept throwing up. But this time, he wasn't interested in eating more. He tried to drink water, but he would throw that up too. So that's when we knew there was a problem. Because normally, he's had a thing where he, he gets a little stomach bug or whatever it is. Maybe he eats something bad. And he eventually throws it up um, and then goes back to normal. And it lasted about a day. So we were expecting it to be that. Um, so the, the next night, Tuesday night, um, Matt stayed up with Buzz. We were taking turns. Matt stayed up with Buzz and he actually took him over to the, to Matt's parents' house. They were gone. He kind of laid around on the couch and had some food and water out for him to see if he was interested in food. He wasn't interested in food at all. Um, he was very, you could tell he was really tired. He was lethargic. He wasn't moving around a lot. So first thing... Winston, so I went over there and spent time with him. We neither one of us got sleep that night. I was just so worried. Still no burgundy. So that Wednesday morning, we called the vet. We took him in, and um, they didn't know. They did an X-ray. They saw that he had uh, basically his his digestive system was backed up. Um, he hadn't gone to the bathroom, so she was thinking that he might have eaten something that was causing him to be backed up. She looked at his gums, said he's very dehydrated, so they needed to keep him overnight. Uh, they said they're going to put him on fluids, they're going to do blood tests, they're going to do more x-rays and see what's wrong. Um, so we dropped him off that morning and we got a call from the vet at about, I want to say 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And this is when it was real bad. Um, the vet basically told us they ran blood tests and that his blood levels. Um, there are certain levels of, of testing, like his white blood cell count was 30 or 40,000, um, when it should be 17. So his body was fighting off something really hard. She said he was insanely dehydrated. She doesn't know how he got dehydrated so quickly, but he was in kidney failure. Um, and basically she said, this is the kind of kidney failure that you see in older dogs that they, they don't make it past. She said, I don't know how it got this bad this quickly, especially because we had told her that he was fine Sunday and Monday, um, until he started, you know, throwing up that evening. He was absolutely fine. So she said, the only thing that I can think of is if he had gotten into something toxic. So grapes, antifreeze, um, and there's a Seiko palm, which we found out Matt parent. Matt's parents have on their land um, and it's like a short little palm tree but he doesn't eat anything outside of grass and sticks so I don't know if he had gotten into something like that um, I mean him and Brady eat random stuff all the time they're, they're dogs and they spend time outside um, so she said it, it had or a Tylenol I think because if dogs get into Tylenol I don't we don't take any Tylenol and Matt's parents don't leave it lying around so we're not quite sure what happened. Um, so she basically told us on Wednesday that it's not looking good. Um, and it, without saying it literally, she pretty much told us that he wasn't going to make it. Um, so as you can probably guess, I was not... It was not a good day. Um, and, and all this time, still no burgundy. Um, and so... She said that she'll update us with more information as she finds it. They were going to keep doing blood tests. They were going to keep him on fluid. She said that um, possibly what could have happened was that he got into something toxic. His system got backed up, which caused the dehydration and caused his blood levels to go crazy. So she was hoping that it would be acute kidney failure, which you can treat with fluids um, and antibiotics and stuff. Not chronic kidney failure, which is basically done. Um, so 
I think we got one more update that evening, Wednesday evening. Um, and that one, she had run more blood tests after they did fluids. They did some antibiotics or medicine. And she said that his white blood cell count was coming down, which is a very good sign. And then that his other levels were um, normalizing as well. So basically after that very terrible news Wednesday afternoon, we got better news Wednesday night. And it still wasn't like he was out of the woods yet, but she said it's looking better. She said he's probably going to have to stay Thursday night too, but she would let us know in the morning. So we got another update on Thursday and she said things were looking better, um, but he definitely did need to stay Thursday night. So Friday morning, we actually were able to bring, um, actually it was afternoon, but we, we got a call Friday morning and said that he's going to be good to come home Friday afternoon. Um, so she's almost positive it was some something toxic he got into something toxic which caused acute kidney failure um so she said that once once it happens to dogs it can put them at risk for it happening again so he has to stay on a renal diet there's a very special food very expensive special food that we have to get from the vet um it's a prescription dog food uh and so he's having, we had to feed him very small amounts with small amounts of water at basically timed intervals all weekend. Um, because going from not being able to eat or absorb anything and then letting him go, it, she didn't want to overload his stomach and cause him to throw up again. So we had to feed him little amounts. He's back to eating normally. He's back to drinking normally. So long story short, Buzz is fine now. Um, it was a very, very scary week. Um, and we just couldn't, I couldn't focus on anything else. A lot of my, my online coaching work had kind of got put on the back burner. I was just, I was very stressed. Um, Burgundy is still not back, um, which is a whole other stress in itself. So, and with, you know, where we live mountain lions and coyotes and god knows what else my my hope is that she wandered into somebody else's land um and is staying safe there that's my hope um you know cats are crazy they're crazy animals we've had cats growing up we've had cats disappear for weeks and weeks at a time and come back um, I had a, one of my aunts had a cat that disappeared for three years and then showed back up. Um, but the cat had found another home. It came back all fat and happy. So my hope is that that's what happened to Burgundy. Um, we initially found her in the first place. So we don't know how old she is. We don't know who she lived with before. Um, but we, we found her and she was obviously already used to people, so she had had a home, she just got lost. So maybe this is just her way of moving on. So that's my hope. Um, I'm hoping that she comes back. I know that worrying about it, it's not gonna make her come back any sooner. We've posted in the local uh, Facebook groups and we're keeping an eye around the neighborhood and, you know, the local Facebook groups is connected with all of our neighbors. So keep an eye out for her. Um, and, you know, we've walked around Matt's land looking for her. We've called to her. If she were in the vicinity, she would come. Because she knows where all of the good food is. But, um, yeah. it's It's been kind of a rough week. But we are, we're doing better. You know, Buzz is good. And we're hoping that um, Burgundy will come back. So, I'm not quite sure what this car is doing behind me. Oh, I guess he's waiting for a spot. Um, so that's the update from this last week. That's kind of where we've been. Poor little Buzz Buzz can't catch a break this, this year. Um, but he's a fighter. He's strong. You know, he pulled through what we didn't something that we didn't think he was going to make it. Um, the vet didn't think he was going to make it. So that's good. That's the good news. Um, he's living to run another day, <laughs> but I just wanted to update you guys on, you know, what, what we've been going through. Um, <laughs> a 
whole other story in itself too. Um, Matt just worked at ACL, um, Austin City Limits, and made a decent amount, a couple thousand dollars, uh, from working really hard those few weekends, and that was money we were going to put towards his his leg, because uh, we've got a few bills there. Um, but now most of that money is going to Buzz. So <laughs> it's just funny how, you know, we've made all these plans financially. Like, oh, you know, we're going to travel this year. Matt breaks his leg. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll handle that. Buzz gets heartworms. <laughs> cool. We got this. We can do this. Buzz goes into kidney failure. So it's, um, you know, you can't worry about things like money like we're we're working we're doing what we can to make bills you know make ends meet obviously some extracurricular activities are going to be have to put on the back burner again but that's okay you know we're we're alive we're healthy ish <laughs> we're making it um so we'll we'll talk finances with you guys later i keep saying we're going to have a money talk video but things keep coming up which I mean I guess we'll just add to the financial talk video but yeah that's about it so thank you guys for watching I man I went on for a long time I, I apologize for how long this is but thank you for watching um thank you for prayers and well wishes we had a lot of people you know letting us know we don't know what's going on but we hope everything's okay thinking about you guys so love you guys and I will see you in Friday's video any topic requests, leave them below. Bye, guys.